as of late, I have regained my life. I am doing the things that I wanted to do in a long time. But I can't help myself but think and look back. And it's funny. It's, it's, it really is. Like in a sarcastic, ironic way, it's funny. I missed the game. I can't help myself. It's been three months now since I've stopped completely from one day to another. Is this where I should start talking? Is this... Is this, is this correct? Is this, is this the way to do to do this? How I'm feeling right now? I am feeling nervous. I'm feeling a little nervous. I'm a little, I'm a little all over the place. You could say. Like tens of thoughts racing through my head. Not thousands, just tens. Let's be realistic here. I wanted to do a review about Lost Ark a couple months after we have beaten, I think, Vikas. So I could say, hey, I have put in like a thousand to a thousand five hundred hours into the game. We did a couple raids. We successfully cleared them. And then I wanted to make a review. But then I didn't. Why? Well, Because I had no time. I was too busy playing the game. It, it's funny, actually. I, 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 we, we tackled the game as a couple uh, activity. My girlfriend and I, we, we always wanted to play an MMO. We missed the heights of WoW. We missed the heights of other free-to-play games. And we always wanted to play with someone who would only play at the same time as the other person would. I don't know if that was a proper sentence, but hey. Um, we basically wanted to always play together. We never wanted to skip a quest or whatever without each other. We just wanted to progress together. And it was amazing. Like, I remember the first day of Lost Ark when it launched, when it was an absolute shit fest. And there were like 12 hour queues. We made the little macro so we couldn't get locked out. I remember that fondly. Um, it was just right clicking. That's it, not, not, nothing amazing. We just went into our stronghold and then left the PCs on overnight and then the little macro just held right click. So the character would always move and never be AFK and get kicked out. So far so good. So we have like now first launch memories, launch memories of a new game or a new old game but we released in the West or whatever. Um, so that was cool. Like the first day, the character creation, uh, we had the three day head start before the game actually launched. We could make our character in time. Um, and the next for the world. Even like simple mob killing was fun. Like killing all those trash mobs during the leveling process. Sure, there were like one to two hits. And they were just there for fun, you know, get used to the game and everything and the mechanics. And. Um, that was fun. That was actually fun. Like a lot of people say they're bored about the leveling experience, but the basic core gameplay is so incredibly fun that I had just fun killing every single trash mob in the entire game until the very end. Even the trashy chaos dungeons were fun because the enemies were reacting to my hits. They would get staggered every single time when I would hit them. I heard some people criticize that. But I am turning this into a review, am I not? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, these are the happy memories that I have. The, 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 the f being of, at the frontier of everything. Leveling together with everyone. I remember all those uh, mini dungeons that were sprinkled throughout the leveling process, throughout the continents. Uh, the one at the beginning with the golem, I think. And everyone was similarly geared. And you could do those in the first month or so. But I realized very quickly that like four or five months after, there was no one that could get into the game now. And A, find someone to play those beginner dungeons with. 
and B, we could actually enter those dungeons without equalized gear, making some of the runs, we redid some of the runs because we wanted to, what was it called? Complete the adventure term, right? We wanted to, to, to uh, fill, fill, fill a couple entries, right? And for that, you have to sometimes um, clear the dungeons on normal and hard. Not sometimes, but always. You know what I mean. So we did that. That was fun. We went all the way. We, we, we didn't really rush to tier 3. We took our time in tier 1, did our dailies, did our guardians, did our unas, weeklies, and just held it there for a while, I think for a month or so. Because we wanted to gather more information, because we heard that that's a Korean MMO, and you have to be careful. So we calculated everything. We didn't waste anything. We, the only thing we did was basically buy, I think, the, the bronze founders pack for 15 bucks to honestly to just play three days earlier and to support the game. I was, I was believing that this game would be the game I would play for years and years on end. And so we bought that. We played it for a while. We were not stuck, but we voluntarily chose to not progress any further until we had more knowledge of the game. Uh, we didn't have any... What are, they're not called runes, engravings. We didn't touch any pouches. Like I'm sure my character now has still has hundreds of rare and green pouches uh, of engravings, four engravings, and they're probably still there. And I probably only use like half of them because I only use what I need, right? Playing it efficiently. Um, so we were chasing the, the efficiency. Uh, we were just chasing efficiency. So we did every time we could do a daily, we did the daily, we did the guardians. Eventually we stopped doing them whenever we can because it was it was getting too time consuming. So we only played when there was a rest bonus. The problem was that the rest bonus was on every single character and not across the roster. That was a quite the the time the time sink there. Anyway, we were leveling, we were having a blast exploring the world um we, we got to i think was it phaeton i think it was phaeton with the first interdimensional puzzle level dungeon with able what was her name the purple alien lady and we were like oh wow this is a fun dungeon wow th this game is really like there's a lot of variety right you, you go through all these areas you go fishing you go mining uh you learn your skills you level up um there was a Naruni race at the beginning of the game as an event. That was I thought that was really cool. Um, it did get boring after the twentieth time, but to be honest, something that repeats itself that goes for five minutes, that is still fun after 10, 15 times. I think that's a pretty good mini game. Um, yeah. And then we made it to I don't know the dwarf area, whatever it's called, the one of the Hammer Boys. I forgot. I forgot. Either way, we made it there. It was cool there too. And then I think we made it to Punica and then that's where the game kind of changed. That was like where everyone said, hey, that's where the game begins. And that's where the actual fun begins. I was like, all right. All right, okay. So we were at level 13... Oh, 5 or whatever to get to tier 3 got a chest, get a couple gear and then we fought Argos for the first time Argos was fun it was absolute chaos, there were a lot of people who were salty, that people were bad but remember this was like I think like 2 weeks into Argos launch it wasn't, it wasn't like nobody had like a lot of experience but those who already somehow had 6 characters at that point of time and already did them 6 times a week, for 3 weeks I guess yes, you know how Argos works for us, it was still confusing with the mechanics and everything. I mean, four or five months in, repeating that, it was no longer uh, an issue. Most people were overgeared anyway. Why am I telling you all this? I want to talk about it. I just want to talk about my experience. I feel like I, feel like I have that bottled up inside me. I want to I share my, my, my adventures. 
I want to share what I felt. And what I felt when we played against Walton, the first Legion raid, was what I always wanted to have in a, not just in a video game, but I mean in, in an MMO experience. That was the first time where you actually had to interact with other people properly. Argos, you could get carried. It wasn't that difficult, but Walton for the first time, that was, that was fun. It was extremely fun. I think it took us two days to beat him with a bunch of random people. I invited a lot of people to Discord and um, I said, I put in the uh, lobby description, I think, Discord only or something, just to gather a few people that were playing the game regularly. So we could beat it regularly. Um, because we, we, although we had our own guild, we just made it at the beginning of the game, I think we were called Thottery. Um, they weren't really active members. People just joined because they thought the name is a cool meme. But that's it. So we fought Walton with a bunch of randoms. They joined. Some of them stayed for a longer period of time. Some of them left after the first time. But in overall, it was it was quite fun. It was quite fun. Um, beating him was, was really, really satisfying. And then I think that's the point where we made a second character. And then very quickly after that, we made a third one and a fourth one. I'm not sure if we did a fifth, but we used every single pass that allowed us to get to tier three on a new character to not waste anything. We used every single express event. We used um, every single opportunity to buy with actual money something that would be really worth it i think there's like a, a chest for crystals that you can buy for like 10 bucks that's worth 50 or something but only once per account and the game is uh, the developers are praying and praying that you get more once you've paid once right that's a common tactic um, people do that once you have spent a little bit you're more willing to spend even more um, but when you're a little older, when you're a little more of an adult, um, it doesn't get you as much. Now, what did get me over time was the increased time consumption. While at the beginning I could like play a couple hours every two days and keep up, I ended up playing at the very least six hours per day, at the very least. Now, since I'm self-employed and I have my own company, I am very free with my spare time. I can take that time because I want to and I just can. That's it. So I did. I did Chaos Dungeons on the side. My girlfriend would get bored by doing all those dailies and weeklies. So I would do them for her while she was at her own work uh, every single day for two characters. I would turn on any desk. I would connect to a PC. I would invite her. She, I would accept it for her. And then I would do the Chaos Dungeons and I would do the Guardians. Um, you remember, remember when I said um, I wanted to play the game with her without skipping a quest or playing without her? That's where the exception started. I was like, this is the non-fun part. When she comes home, we're going to play the fun part. And then slowly... I was like, I was getting on a treadmill. I was, I didn't notice it at, at the time. Um, playing from February until I think November 1st or 30th or October 30th, I don't know. Something along those lines. I didn't realize how addicted I got. Again, I went from two hours every three days to six hours per day. Kind of not realizing it or I did realize but I didn't care too much. I think I didn't care too much. I was just having so much fun. Now the problem was, good and bad, is for me personally, the core gameplay is so fun that I did not mind grinding Chaos Dungeons all day and Guardians. The, 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 the <laughs> I was so addicted actually that after doing those dailies for like, let's, let's say four characters per person, um, I have to kill it at 50% speed basically because the, the dungeons scale with uh, party size, right? So um, the guardians had a little more health, the, the monsters and the chaos dungeons had a little more health. 
So it took longer than you would clear it completely by yourself, right? Because I just had one dead weight. And sometimes um, I would not do the easier guardians, but the highest possible one to get the maximum amount of rewards, right? Playing efficiently. So I did that. And then I just beat Belganos for fun after that. After doing all the dailies, because I really, really, really wanted to play the game. So I was thinking, okay, I have to do something that doesn't give me any rewards, but I still want to play the game, but I can't progress without my girlfriend. Okay, so I did just Guardian Raids all by myself, beat Valganos. I wrote free carry. Some people asked for money for each carry. I personally had a couple reasons why I didn't want to do that. A, I just wanted to play the game. B, I just wanted to help out some people who are struggling maybe, or who are re-clearing it, right? And just want to get it over with faster. Forgot number three. I wanted to help, I wanted to have fun. Oh yeah, the, the, the main reason. I'm not progressing. You're not getting rewards after the second Guardian, right? You're getting no, no Guardian Souls. So that was a way for me to keep playing the game. I tried PvP, but honestly, coming from League, it has a steep learning curve. Let's, let's put it like that. There's a steep, very steep learning curve. It's a completely different game. Um, I don't like the way people just run around in a circle like in Tekken. Um, nothing against the fighting games, but I just don't like just, just going back and forth until someone makes a mistake. It's, it seems so dumb. It, it, it kind of wasn't that fun. When it worked, it was fun, but I feel like it was extremely unbalanced. That's what, how I felt. I don't know if it, the game is actually unbalanced in PvP. And there was like little to no rewards. There were rewards. I think there was a vendor and then there were like points, but it was so convoluted I could not make out what reward I would get when. I think I played a little bit of PvP and then I didn't get any rewards, then I did get rewards, then I got some coins, and then I could turn them into other shit coins, and those I could turn into pee pee poo, -poo points, I don't know, man. Um, the game is a lot of currencies. A lot of currencies. And then Vikas came out. Vikas beat our ass so hard, I think we cried for three days straight, because we could not beat her with random people. On normal mode, not even hard mode, right? Eventually, we beat her, and it was very, very satisfying. It was very cool. I think Vikas is a cool fight. I think Walton, Walton by far is my most favorite uh, Guardian Raid, uh, Guardian Raid, um, not Infernal Raid, what are they called again? Not Keeper Raid, what the fuck is the name of that again? I want to know it now. Raid, Raid, something Raid, 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 Raid Shadow Legends, no. Uh, Trial Raids, no, that's Final Fantasy. Um, fuck, what was it? Help me, help me out. I forgot. Legion, Legion Raids, Legion Raids, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And after all that, We just wanted to complete the adventure tomes. We wanted to collect all, all there was to collect. We were basically chasing constantly a point in the game where we could just relax and play it a little more casually. Like, don't get me wrong, I could play this game all day, every day, if only I was paid to do so. But I wasn't. So the game increasingly it took more and more time in my life away from me. We started doing less things together outside of the game. For example, like even celebrating birthdays or like uh, going out for a dinner or even to more dumb things like eating out more often, uh, cooking less. And honestly, I, I think I genuinely even showered less. I think there was not enough time for me to, to shower as often as I used to. So I didn't do that. Um, 
It's a little embarrassing, not gonna lie. On one, on one side, I genuinely enjoyed experiencing the typical smelly gamer experience. Playing six to 12 hours per day, grinding shit, having a lot of fun, exploring things, um, keeping up with the elite, to put it in a way. Uh, we never had huge issues with honing because we would never A, rage hone, and B, we would always calculate how much we would roughly need to get to that point, and we wouldn't just hone for fun. We wouldn't do that. We would always buy the books if they were efficient. We, bought, we looked at always the calculators, and we planned ahead our uh, stones, and we never did dumb shit like, I have to roll a 9-7 stone. We knew if we buy just the legendary grudge engravings, we will have a guaranteed 5x3 setup, right? So we never ever wasted peons or fions or whatever the fuck they are called on rolling stones. We never did that. Because we were like, no, that doesn't make any sense. We don't have to do that. I had my 3x3 setup until Vikas, including Vikas. Sure, I dealt the least amount of damage, but we did it. And then I got lucky one day and I rolled a 9-7 stone. And I got 5 by 3 at least in theory. Uh, I didn't buy accessories that cost like half a million gold. I waited patiently and I was like, if I buy this accessory and get Grudge 3 as a legendary engraving in three months, then I will have 5 by 3 plus 1 by 1 I think even. And then, yeah, I think so. And then I was like, okay, I can play with Grudge 2 for a while. That's still better than my 3x3, my older one, right? Sure, I'm not playing it hyper-efficiently, but I'm playing it efficiently in, in, in a long term, right? I'm not wasting fions, I'm not wasting gold. I am basically sacrificing temporarily damage to make up for it in a couple months. Why in a couple months? Because <laughs> at that point, around, I think, July, August, we started calculating everything. We, we, we looked for future builds, what we're going to have, what we want to have, what's the, most way, what's, what's the most efficient way to deal damage, yada, yada, yada. So we planned that out down the line, and then we were like, okay, if we beat Walton and Vikas on these three characters twice each a week, that's two, four, six Legion raids per week, then we would make roughly 30,000 gold, uh, we get the honing materials from here, we do this and we do that, and then uh, 30,000 gold, that's like two grunge books, two legendary grunge books per week, roughly, plus all the accessories that drop that we can sell in the auction house, let's say 40,000 gold per week. Again, this was in August, I don't know how the numbers are today. So we did that. Um, No, I forgot what I, what I wanted to say. Thank you. So yeah, two grudge books per week. I think I was missing six books. I think I was at... No, I was missing, I think... No, at that point I was missing 11. So I was like 4, 8, 12. That's almost three months. So until Brelshaza comes out, I can get my grudge to three and then I'm ready for Brelshaza. If, if we do six... Legion rates per week successfully, and that's where it started to become extremely time consuming. Because with Legion rates, you're dependent on other people. Even though we played together, we couldn't influence other people too much. We tried to get a static group, but we just couldn't make it. And then with random people in random lobbies, it was just such a coin flip of whether or not you one shot the boss the first time and you clear the raid in like five to seven minutes and then you do it three more times like best case scenario you could do six legion raids let's say each take let, let's be generous say they take 20 minutes each right so six times 20 is 122 hours right two hours but if you're unlucky you're stuck with one raid i think that's where we got the most frustrated i think we couldn't manage to beat vikas on hard mode and on normal mode because of how people would die. We weren't massively overleveled and overgeared. I guess that's where pay to win comes in. 
Maybe if you would have swiped a lot more and like massively overgeared the Legion raid bosses, I think maybe we could have carried with only two people. Probably could have done it. It would have been a lot more exhausting, but A, we don't want to play like that. B, I don't want to spend a massive amount of money. Don't get me wrong, we, we, we spent roughly 10 bucks a month on the Crystalline Aura just to support the game. We saw it as uh, not really as a pay to convenience thing, but more like a subscription fee. I have no, I would have paid 20 bucks a month for Lost Ark. But there are a lot of reasons why I, I, I why I keep forgetting things. <laughs> um, anyway, anyway, forget, for, for, for just, just, just never mind. We were there and we were playing hard every day. I was playing four to five hours to finish our Chaos Dungeons and Guardian Raids on our characters. Then we would need to like hardcore fight two to six uh, Legion Raids per week. And that's just that. And then it increasingly felt less like a game and more like a chore at that point, very quickly. It switched within two weeks. And I have to admit, it changed a lot once we hit a wall for two weeks where we just couldn't clear Legion raids because the people were simply not good enough. Sure, we made mistakes as well. However, it was not us. It really wasn't us. I know everyone says it, but it wasn't us. People kept just dying way too soon, way too early, running out of potions, or their armor was broken and they didn't pay attention. I don't know. I don't know. So that was the thing. And then with the increased frustration, we wanted to play less and less and felt more and more like a chore. Now, what happened then? What, what happened? I don't know. I... Oh yeah. We were lacking fun. Remember how fun it was to beat those Legion raids for the first time? Yeah, that was satisfying, wasn't it? Now, do the same thing up to six times a week. Some people do it. No, I think you can only do it six times a week, right? On up to six characters. Wait, it doesn't mean six per week. That means you can do three Legion raids per character. I don't, I don't know what the limitation was again. I forgot. I don't want to talk out of my ass. It was, anyway, it was very time consuming. The gold we were getting was not quite as satisfying as it should be because the market prices were constantly get going higher and higher. Um, we were unlucky with drops. We basically could never equip anything that was dropping. You had to go to the auction house, you had to buy something. Okay, but it was too expensive. We couldn't progress in a meaningful way, fast enough, that would justify wasting so much time on weekly activities. So girlfriend eventually got absolutely sick of it, she didn't even have fun anymore. She only played it because of me, according to her. So I was like a little bummed out. I was like, yeah, that's 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 kind of ass. But I was still having fun. I was fine with that. She might not have had as much fun as I did, but hey, that's fine. I had fun. Um, so we pushed through these chores, these dailies, these guardian raids, these chaos dungeons, at these, um, what was it called? Legion raids, right? You just wanted to get those fucking weekly things done so you can, <laughs> quote unquote, play the actual game. We wanted to have fun again in the game. We wanted to explore the world. We wanted to do, you know, things that are fun. Sure, it was still fun for me at that point, even though it was slightly decreased. I just enjoyed being a hardcore gamer, as cringe and as dumb as it may sound. I enjoyed the thrill of constantly farming, leveling up, honing your gear, getting ever so slightly better, seeing your numbers go up. <coughs> so that's cool. Apparently there are, um, there's a limit on my camera, so I can record only up to half an hour at once. Where was I? Something about having fun, something about making gold, Anyway, I keep repeating myself. The game has become too chory. We wanted to have fun activities and there were no fun activities left in the game. Um, 
Legion raids, initially fun, cool. The thing is, I feel like the game didn't have enough... <laughs> it sounds really dumb, but at that point we realized the game didn't have much to offer. I guess. Not enough variety. Remember when you were like, we were farming uh, trees and mining and stuff? In the beginning of the game, we were like getting those skills up. And then I noticed, you can't even do anything with that. You can't really, really properly craft anything that is tied to a certain, like, let's say, mining proficiency level or something. No, you were just getting them just like that. You could eventually go to your stronghold and uh, hit auto farm on your farm. So the game was playing itself. Um, there was no proper crafting system. You go to your stronghold, you select what you want. Let's say potions, you let it craft it for three hours. Okay, cool. And then it has, it has these gimmicky ass mobile mechanics. I, I wished for so long that the game would like have a phone app where you could maybe like take care of a stronghold on the couch when you're not playing. Um, do those, get those little daily things done on the side maybe without constant being in front of your PC. But no, no, that wasn't a thing. Uh, the game trivialized a lot of things that were, um, that are a thing in other MMOs, right? I remember playing Final Fantasy XIV and you could like get into carpentry and like build I don't know, tables and stools and shit. Not that exciting, but you could do something with that. It had a purpose. On one hand, I think putting a lot of emphasis on the combat and combat-based gameplay in Lost Ark is the right choice because they know what the game is good at. And that's the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. And I watched a couple of reviews too when the game came out. I watched a couple of reviews of other people when it came out. Um, I watched Esmond Bold. Bold? He's bald. I'm pretty sure he's bald. Um, I envy him a little bit. He plays the game without guides. Without giving any shits whatsoever. However, I think that is the perk of being an entertainer. On one side. Don't talk shit back yet. On the other, we could play like that too. Sure. But as punishing as the game is, if you make mistakes of skilling the wrong things and how the community reacts when they see you having a garbage build that is not efficient, just because you want to play the game the way you want to, but then you make the game miserable for other people. It might work for a big streamer, but I don't think it works that well for a uh, singular person that is not famous. Nothing against famous people or anything, no. It's fine, they can do it that way, but I don't think it's a viable option for us. It's only viable if the content you're playing is only, is, is, um, is centered around yourself. If you can have solo dungeons, if you can solo them, solo them. If you're not going into multiplayer combat with more than you and your, let's say, buddies or friends, right? Then that's fine. But as soon as you get into groups, A, you're not even going to get into the groups, and B, uh, they're going to talk a lot of shit, and it's not going to be that fun. It's not that fun. And I, from what I've seen, they have nerfed and pretty much removed everything that used to be fun in the game. But that's, that's, that, that's, those are topics that I have actually no, no knowledge about, so I'm not going to comment on that for any further. The game was not fun. It was consuming too much time. I was longing for a real life again. So one day, I just stopped. From one day to another, I made the little announcement, I wrote down my feelings, how I felt. Yeah, how did I feel? How do I feel now, after telling you all this shit? I'm kind of upset. Right now, I feel upset. Why am I upset? I feel a little angry, I feel a little frustrated, I feel like my time that I had is gone. Don't come at me with time you have enjoyed is not time wasted or whatever the fuck somebody said. People use it way too often as an excuse. It's a good saying but within its limits. Um, I had fun with Lost Ark. I think it's an amazing game 
and the problem is once I stopped I wanted to get right back to it. Only after stopping did I notice how addicted I was. Now it might sound a little strange because I stopped from one day to another but that's just how I am as a person. Um, I woke up one day and started lifting five times a week for the next three days, uh, three years and then I stopped from one day to another and the same with games. I, I get into a game very quickly and very intensely. Like I, I play the shit out of Slightest Bio, for example. I still play it casually, for example. But Say the Spare is a good example. League. I came from League to Lost Ark because I was fed up with League and I didn't want to deal with that any further. I, want a, I wanted a co-op game to play with my girlfriend, now fiancé, soon-to-be wife. Why did I say that? I don't know. Um, I wanted a co-op experience. I wanted another experience and I wanted it to be similar to Leak's gameplay. I really enjoyed Leak's gameplay. I thought it was very impactful. I thought the feedback was really, really good. I thought it felt really good to do combos. I felt everything in Leak feels impactful. So we tried out other games. So we played other games. However, we come from good games, right? Even though leak might be arguable, but you can't deny that its core basic gameplay is very satisfying and you can show off your skill a lot. Very similar in Lost Ark. Sure, the fixed camera perspective cannot, doesn't have to be the exact same, but having just a couple skills, moving around, dodging shit, uh, feels very good. It feels very, very impactful. It feels extremely satisfying. I could compare Lost Ark to things like Dark Souls. Also works very well. Dark Souls is the pinnacle of, of, of impactful combat gameplay, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but that's how I feel. That's how we feel. My girlfriend feel, felt the same. She used to play other like garbage games. I'm going to call, just call them garbage games, whether they're garbage or not, but simpler games. Now, going back to those simpler games is just not feasible. It's just not the same. And not because I'm nostalgic about it. Like, going from League to Lost Ark was, like, a good transition for me. Like, like, like let, let's, just, let's just emphasize on how I feel. We went from League to Lost Ark. In between, we tried Final Fantasy XIV, actually. We played until level 34, I think. We put in like 10 to 20 hours. We explored the world and then fought a little bit. I don't know what she was playing. I think she was playing some melee class. A Dragoneer, someone with fists. Was it a sword? Was it a spear? I don't know. I don't know. While I did enjoy my time in Final Fantasy XIV like six, seven years ago, the tap target combat is piss boring it is so boring it is absolutely boring it bored us to death the story was not amazing i don't know why people keep saying oh the story of final fantasy 14 is so good uh, and then they're gonna say oh you're not even level 50 you should play this and that and uh, yeah i'm sorry but seven eight years ago when i played the game all those expansions weren't there what the fuck are you talking about dumbass argument also, if the game pulls you in a hundred hours in and then, then there's something wrong and you can't blame me for quitting a game that early in. A hundred hours? Are you kidding me? In Lost Ark, I had fun the very moment I started playing. From the first town to the last, killing trash mobs was always fun. It felt satisfying, it felt impactful, there was a meaningful progression, the story was also equally garbage. I didn't give two shits about the story because it was just simply bad. There's only one game that we have played as of late that had an amazing story where the gameplay wasn't as amazing uh, was Divinity 2. Completely different, different genre, sure. But that was an extremely good role-playing game. That pulled us in. We weren't a fan of the, the fighting, for example. I'm just giving it as an example so you know uh, we play other games and other genres too. And if the lack of combat is there, we might still play the game for other reasons. 
the music is amazing, the narration is amazing, the choices are great and impactful too. Basically, I want to feel things when I play games, I guess. I want to feel it. With Lost Dark, I could feel every punch. Going from Gunslinger to uh, Soul Fist was also cool. Uh, it, initially, I didn't play Bart because of the sound effects. Eventually, I get used to it. And it, again, amazing. Big impact. Big, big impact. Then I watched reviews of uh, things like Torchlight Infinite. Uh, the Lazy Peon, Fion, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, I don't trust that guy. So, I trusted that guy <laughs> and downloaded the game. And I think we played it yesterday, for example, for 10 minutes. It bored us to death. I couldn't stand the unimpactful, uh, right-clicking garbage that was given to us. It was so bad. It felt so off. It was just awful. I don't know. It just didn't feel good. It didn't feel right. It felt cheap. It felt clunky. Awful. Awful. We just in uninstalled it after 10 minutes. We're like, you know what? We're not going to waste our time playing this shit. Just uninstall it. Fuck it. Who cares? So we didn't waste our time further. We played a lot of single player games in, in the time where I stopped um, playing, uh, what, it's, what is it called, Lost Ark from November until now, which is February. So in the last three, four months. However, I keep feeling like I want to play Lost Ark again. But the funny thing is, I'm getting it out of my system actually. The more I talk about it, the, the, the less hardcore I long for it, I guess. I guess. I love the game. But I increasingly, increasingly hated playing it. It's weird. It's such a love-hate relationship. It's actually very similar to how I felt about League. I love League. I used to love League a lot more. League meant like so much to me. And eventually it turned into a chore, climbing, getting ELO, um, frustrated being, being frustrated with your teammates and accepting that you're not good enough is also a thing. If I'm not progressing in league, it can be partially fault, my team's fault, sure. You can't carry every game. But there, I'm pretty sure, a lot of games that could have been carried by a better player. Simple as that. I have to admit that. So, chasing for a purposeful gaming experience has been painful. And then I started looking around me, and I was like... I think I have more in life now. Over the course of the last 10 years, I have gone from being an apprentice, an unpaid apprentice, to being an apprentice for three years, then being an employee, and then buying out the company that I used to work at. I have two dogs. I'm in a relationship now. There are a lot of things that give me purpose in life. Religion, for one the people around me, my customers, my family. I think last week or the week before, I think I watched actually an Asmongold video where he said something like that, which kind of woke me up in a way. I was like, yeah, that's, that's actually true. Like, I'm never going to say games these days are worse than games from 20 years ago. There are a couple good games from 20 years ago, but in general, I think the games today are way deeper, are way more polished, even though it might not seem like that, if you dip, dig deep enough. I think we're looking at the wrong places. We, 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 can, we cannot expect good games from EA or Ubisoft. There are a lot of indie companies that bring out amazing games. Dead Cells is amazing, Hades is amazing, um, Slay the Spire as a card game is amazing. And there are other people that are trying to rip each other off, like fucking, what is it called? Monster Train, I think. I spend a lot of time on. Um, 
we were playing Children of Mortar lately, which is a good, fun uh, multiplayer or single player game for that matter, with good progression throughout the story. And I was like, I want to play all these cool games. I'm done with Lost Ark. And the moment I put Lost Ark down, I just wanted to get back to it. I feel good now. I feel actually quite good. I expected myself to be a little more nostalgic about it, to be a little more, oh damn, I actually really miss Lost Ark, but I do miss it still. I do miss my characters. I have a little bond to them. I feel like if the game... Every time I start a sentence, I stop myself and say stop it. On one hand, I would like to the game to be different. I'll tell you why it was so difficult. Or I'll tell you why common arguments do not quite work on me. You could say, just play as much as you want. Play for fun. Why are you forcing yourself to do uh, six Legion raids per week if it's taking that much time? Just don't do them. Just don't do Chaos Dungeons if they're not fun. Don't do Guardian Raids. Do whatever is fun. Well, I'm sorry, but what is left in the game? There are no events. There are events, but you go there, you press G a couple times, and then the event is done. Or you press G, accept the quest, sit there, have to wait at the fucking, what was it, beach, for like one minute here, a minute over there, and the third time a minute over there. Yeah, cool gameplay. Um, you cannot do any meaningful life skills in the game. It's just fucking useless. And there's nothing left in the game. And that's that's where I realized, actually, there, there's not much to the game after all. It looks like it. It's very convoluted with all of its currencies. And you could do this and could do that. But actually, the game doesn't have that much to offer. It actually doesn't have that much to offer. And I have to also admit, I am too weak to not play efficiently. I see that experience no rest bar full. I will use it. I will not let one day waste be wasted. We picked up every single login reward even though we were on a vacation. We left our PCs at home on and connected to it via a remote desktop software on our smartphones. And we still got the daily rewards. We didn't skip a single one for half a year. We got every single co uh, compensation reward we picked everything up. And only then, even then, the game was barely bearable when it comes to progress. A lot of other people were progressing much faster because they were paying. And I didn't want to pay. It's that simple. I don't want to spend hundreds of bucks progressing in a game. I am fine for subscription fee. I would gladly pay, as I said, 20 bucks instead of 10 or 15 to be able to play it in a meaningful way. Fuck the rest bar. Like, a couple of things come to my mind when I think about how Lost Ark could be better. A lot of people said, just have one Chaos Dungeon and maybe one Guardian Raid per day instead of two. Okay. Maybe? Yes? Sure. I mean, they would cut the time in half. But the developers don't want that. They, they, they want you to stay in the game and play it as much as possible. Maybe I should have taken more breaks. Maybe I shouldn't have not paid that much attention to the bars. But I do. I can't help myself. At this point, we have to agree that I just can't do it. I'm too weak. I'm too mentally weak. I cannot, for the love of God, sit back and not touch the game if the bar is full. I just can't do that. I literally cannot do that. I go crazy and I constantly think about it. How it's being wasted. Awful. It's not that I don't, don't enjoy like a guide-based gameplay. Like some people say the golden age of a game is when you are exploring things and there are no guides and everything. I partially agree. It works very well in single player games. I think it works the best in roguelike games where you repeat the same stage over and over again. You try out different builds and it has no consequence skidding the wrong thing. And I think Lost Ark wasn't too bad in that regard either in the sense that you could respec or the, what was it the skill trees where you could select different skill trees however you would be fucked there because they had they would have levels as well so you can't actually just swap to another thing without uh, massively decreasing uh, your power 
unless you have already in, adva in advance uh, skilled up that tree, leveled it up or whatever. One second. So on one hand, I'd like the game to be less grindy. On the other, I realized that there wouldn't be much left of the game then if it was less grindy. Which makes me come to the conclusion that the game doesn't have that much to offer after all. I personally think these epic legion raids shouldn't be repeated so often. It completely takes away the steam, it completely takes away the epicness or whatever, it just it just makes it weird after a while. It's just another thing to do on your list, on your checklist. It's not that fun. And you can't just take a break of like, let's say a month or two, come back and then do the next uh, Legion raid. You can't do that. There's no, no, no meaningful way to keep up without paying, that is. Also, I don't think you should be able to, on one hand, I don't think you should be able to take a break for three months and then go into the next Legion raids with Legion raid with being completely rusty and forgetting half of the game mechanics. That would lower the, 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 the quality of the raids for other people, right? That wouldn't be great. So I have no solution for this. I feel like I wish there was a game like Final Fantasy XIV with the gameplay of Lost Ark. I think Final Fantasy XIV has a lot of activities, a lot of engaging aspects to the game, but its combat is boring me to death. Absolutely to death. I love Lost Ark's moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, but everything around it is shallow, useless, time-consuming, pressuring, and purposeless. Now put those two together, make me a game. Thank you very much. That's my TED Talk. <sighs> So I'm angry that I can't play it. So I'm upset that I can't play it the way I want to. I guess, I suppose. I guess it's sometimes really just both. Maybe it's not that black and white. I miss the game the way it was. I miss grinding, but I hated it at the same time too. I miss spending so much time on it, but also regret spending so much time on it. But six hours per day is too much. And then people come and say, hey, just play less. And then my, my personal main argument is, why do I have to work over the course of a year to finish my engravings by playing, let's say, one hour per day instead of six over the course of the next half year not having fun because I'm not really progressing um, instead of playing an actually good game. Basically, three hours in a regular RPG is like 300 hours in Lost Ark or any MMO, I guess. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just too much. It's just simply too much. I don't know. I, was, I could play a good RPG and level up and gear up. And I did. I played a couple of Final Fantasy games. I played some other RPG that, it, that it's... I forgot its name. Um, but ultimately, it wasn't the same. Working on your build for a year is an entirely different feeling than playing an offline RPG where you can't really talk about others or show off your build because it's an offline game, who cares? And it's easily achievable. And you can't have both, can you? So I want to progress in a meaningful way over the course of a long time without being pressured into playing so much. Like, what do I want? What Would Lost Ark really be different if I would only play well, like one Chaos Dungeon, one Guardian Raid per day? Are dailies even a good idea? How else would they make money? Apparently the, the subscription-based model is kind of dead. Final Fantasy XIV being the exception, maybe WoW. Um, 
so it has to be free to play. There have to be reasons. I just don't like. What if, what if the crystalline aura was actually useful and it was so good that you would just kind of have to buy it as if it always almost was a uh, subscription fee? What about that? What if one month of crystalline aura gives you a certain amount of guaranteed honing levels? What about that? It would boost people who are already farming like animals even further. I understand that. But is that so bad? I don't know. Actually, I didn't come here today to explore ways to improve Lost Ark. I didn't come here for that. I came here to vent. I came here to talk about how I feel. I love Lost Ark. I love its gameplay. I wish there were other games like it. But most of them suck ass. So I'm back to League. <laughs> I'm back to playing League. And the most ironic part is I was looking for a game like League when I stopped playing League and got to Lost Ark. And now going back to League and playing League, it feels a lot less impactful and a lot less challenging than Lost Ark. Which is, I think, also really funny. Really, really funny. Leak feels shallow in comparison to Lost Ark, to be honest. Sure, it's PvP. However, the mechanics of Lost Ark are so much deeper and more satisfying once you solve them and challenge them that Leak just can't compete with that. It's funny. It's ironic. So yeah, here's my one-hour ramble of a video that should have been a review initially but it ended up being this weird thing where I talked to myself and I actually wanted this to be a therapeutic session where I would self-insert myself over there, but I'm way too lazy for that shit now, to be honest, because this completely did not go the way I wanted it to. I just rambled here about Lost Ark for an hour. Now I have to change the video title to something else. And I will put little to no effort into this shit because um, A, nobody's going to watch it and B, I should probably be productive and go do something IRL. But if you made it this far, thanks, I guess. Um, appreciate it. I appreciate it very much, actually. Thank you. Yeah. So much for that. That was my experience of Lost Ark, I guess. And life, a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go now. I'll maybe see you around. Maybe the next video will be better. Who knows? If there's even one coming. <laughs> Take care. Kisses.